What's up? So I figured today I'd do a quick little rundown of uh, lighting setups and carry setup for my EDC shit. So uh, short and sweet to the point. What I run every day, whether or not running a holster and a gun is a administrative light. Run a mod light, uh, 18650 body, on a theorem switchback with a PLH V2 head because PLH V2 on handguns and admin lights, I prefer the more lumens and more of a spill. So that being said, uh, yeah, that's my pocket carry light. Um, moving on to the holster and the gun. Tentacore Malice Soul with a discrete carry concept, I think they're called. Uh, T1 clips. These clips are hands down the best I've had carrying. They fit nice and snug. They fit securely. That holster isn't coming off, and or that holster isn't coming off unless you break the belt or break these, and they're stiff aluminum. Or they might be a steel i don't know which they are but uh moving on to the gun uh glock 19 gen 4 nothing to breach no mag blah blah so uh yeah the stippling job i did myself it is what it is it works um starting from the bottom moving up and across i got a reptilia magwell because i'm in connecticut i get cocked to 10 round magazines um you have to use mag pull Glock mags in here that are 10 round to fit real well the OEM 10 rounders you'd have to slam them in there to get them to fit so kind of sucks but it is what it is works pretty well got a Vickers uh raised mag wall or mag release just so I can grip it a little bit more uh cab works raise and extended slide release I like this because I got a really high purchase up on the gun and I usually hit that when it's down with the OEM ones so I don't mind that when I like that um, slide work was done by Jaeger Works. The RMR cut was done by Jaeger Works. Jaeger Works is cool. They take a little bit of time, but definitely worth the wait in my opinion. Um, if you care that much, just buy an extra slide. Sights are Trigicon suppressor sights that are night sights. If I were to buy them again, I'd probably just do a fiber front. Um, Trigicon RMO6 3.25 MOA dot. Uh, things a tank, things a beast that run it every day. Uh, can't say enough good things about RMRs. They're awesome. Um, only other thing I think I have on this is a rocket disconnector I installed when I first got it. But short of that, that's the Glock. The only other thing left is the uh, Mod Light PL350. Great light. Only gripe with it is I've had it before where the switches are a little uh, weak to ac access. I can overdrive them. I wish it was more of a resistance like when you want to actuate it and deactivate it. And the only other issue I've had on rare, rare occasions is I'll go to actuate the light and it'll actually turn off in the actuated lever position mode, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, it's a solid light. It's definitely brighter next 300. My only gripe is that's just, they'll have to work out the issues on that over time. But I like the light. I like both the lights actually. But uh, yeah, that's my basic setup for EDC stuff, lights, and my gun for right now. Until it changes, that's about that. Nice, guys.